that one. Oh no. That hurts. Crap. Ready? Oh. Hello everybody. I hope that you are doing well. Today we're gonna be doing some fishing. Hopefully in Townsend, Massachusetts on Willard Brook. That's pretty much my only plan for the day. Uh, I went out fishing yesterday, got the kayak out, went up to New Hampshire to Dublin Lake, and uh, got one out there for opening season. But the weather, it was snowing, and there was hail, and like a sustained, probably at least 20 mile an hour wind with gusts, and the waves were like two feet tall. It was, it was, a really bad day for fishing up there. I didn't get anything there, so I ended up coming back and going to a local pond. And I got a bunch of big crappie, black crappie, filleted them up, cooked them. Mm -hmm. It was good. It was good. So today I'm heading out to Willard Brook in Townsend. They stocked that a couple days ago. Um, I've never fished there. Typically I wouldn't make a video in an area with that I've never fished and with like such a vague plan. But I'm thinking, uh, who knows, it might work out. So <laughs> we'll head out there. I've got to stop hopefully by the hardware store and they'll have some salmon eggs because I ran out of my salmon eggs and that's what I really like to catch trout with. Well, unfortunately, the hardware store did not have any salmon eggs, um, but they did have some mealworms. We are like a dog just sniffing around right now. We're just, I'm driving, I'm looking down all the roads where the, where the brooks and streams are. I'm just looking for a line of cars and people and waders and uh, fishing poles wagging around. That's what we're, we're just kind of scanning. We're scanning and we're looking. So we're just heading over, just getting into kind of the Willard Brook area here. Willard Brook State Forest. So this, the stream runs all the way along the side of this. So, you know, that's, that's what we're waiting to see some people kind of see the water down there. I don't know if you guys can see it. But uh, it actually doesn't look like it's running too, too hard. I'm sure there's some native brook trout in here. There's a lot of a lot of water to cover here, but we're trying to find the stockies. Where are they stock? I guess I could go technically to the ranger station. State Forest Headquarters and ask them. But where's the fun in that? So now we're entering Ashby. We got a truck here. Oh, what's he doing? Are you fishing, sir? Oh, he is fishing indeed. And there's one here, but they're hiking. There's no one here to take my money. I don't, I don't, I'm confused at why. Look at this. It's a Sunday. It's, you know, almost 11 o'clock. And there's no one here to hike or to do anything? Like, I'm so confused. I might, I might just drive further down the road and just see if I see a bunch of fishermen. It's funny, uh, people must just, must, I must look the part. I guess I am wearing boots and everything. People are always asking me fishing questions. I'm like, I don't know. It's my first time here. Let's see, Let's see how we do. Alrighty. So I was just talking to that other guy. This guy, other guy showed up and he's he's trying to figure out where they're at too. I would have thought if they stocked here that it would have been really full, but then again, you never know. Um, is, that, is that a natural spring? I don't know. But I'm seeing a lot of fish rise out here, out in the water. I don't think they're trout, but there's a lot of them rising right in the middle there. So I'm just gonna cast some you know, I've, I've got this rigged up right now for like a miniature kind of lake setup. So I might as well just use that. See, see what's in here. You know, if I start slamming trout, then we'll go with those. Try three of these guys. This has kind of been my go-to setup ever since I learned it. It hasn't failed me, so there's something in there. So most likely get them. I like to leave a little point in there.
All right. Oh, you know what? Might help. If. Ha! You know what this is? <laughs> Good to have one of those. The other guys coming down. I actually like having uh, a couple of fishermen out here. Got a fish, but it feels really small. Really small. Ah, uh, tell. Kind of looks like a creek chub. Got one. Small brookie. All right. Oh, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Yeah, this is a little guy. Beautiful little brookie. Oh, this one's coming over to me. Oh, they better not go for my backpack. Hey guys. Just got that in the neck, guys. Oh, that's gonna hurt like a the dickens. Oh no, that hurts. Crap. Read mm. him. I don't even know if I want to see it. Ah, I don't feel blood. Shoot, guys. Okay, let's figure out where the line is. Ow. Step on it. Frick, man. Frick. To break the line. Oh, shoot. Okay, let's think clearly. You've got a hook stabbed into the side of your neck. First things first. Let's get the pliers out. Wherever the hell I put those. Let's go get some first aid. I still don't know how bad this looks. I'm just gonna go up to my car. I got a first aid kit in there and see if we can't figure this out from there. I'm gonna have to ask this guy to help me out. This is ridiculous. I'm such a dummy. I'm glad these hooks are small, but it's gonna hurt like Dickens digging this thing out. It's actually my birthday. It's the weirdest birthday. Is this your birthday? Yeah. So it's this guy's birthday. And he's about to pull a hook out of my neck. <laughs> I guess we're just, uh, yeah, I'll just sit it here. This is gonna hurt. Alright, you ready? Oh, I guess so. Uh, actually, hold on, you know what? I gotta, uh, You got pliers? You don't yeah. even do a pliers. <laughs> you just go and pull it. I mean, it's in there pretty good, I think. Uh, I don't even have a smartphone anymore. I have a flip phone, so I uh. couldn't do, like, the camera view. Oh, here, I got some that aren't so rusty. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna grab one side of the travel hook. Okay. Alright, ready? Oh. Alright, we got it. Ready? All Three, right. two, one. There it is. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, some wood surgery. You can still fish with that. <laughs> At least I didn't lose my hook. <laughs> right? It's an expensive That's little nice. guys. Oh man, is it bleeding? Very little. Very little. Cool. We're good. Thank you, man. No problem, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you're slamming him right there. That's a good little guy. Yeah, they seem like they're all pretty much the same size. Yeah. 
I'm gonna give this guy a shot. Got one. Got one. Yep. Woo. <laughs> Man. Oh yeah. You guys can see that, okay? All right, buddy. There you go. Yeah. Fish on. Oh, I hopped off. And we got another one. Slamming him. <laughs> Ooh. Come on, buddy. Come on. Ooh. That's a good size one. <laughs> I got a dumb one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a stupid fish. <laughs> Here we go. Fish on. Come here, bud. Little oh, guy. Nice, it's another good size one. Well guys, I'm tuckered out. I, uh, I probably ended up catching close to 40 fish today, which is just insane. <laughs> I, uh, at a certain point, you know, once I knew I had a lot of footage of catching them, I just turn the camera off, put it away, and just enjoy being here and fishing, because I think it's really important to do. It's a lot of work to record these videos, and it's really my main focus when I'm out here. Uh, you know, when it comes to fishing and recording, it's you, you con constantly have to be uh, making sure the camera's rolling and it's pointing the right way, and it's, it takes you away from the fishing in a way, so I like to turn it off at a certain point and just fish. What a crazy day, though. I thought we were gonna come here and I wasn't gonna find any fish. The rivers are gonna be raging. I'd be lucky if I got one. And I just cast caught, cast caught. I mean, it took a little bit. You know, it took getting a hook in the neck and then meeting that guy and him helping me out. Um, shout out to Zach, I think his name was. Um, I got his info, so hopefully we'll fish again. And huge thanks to him for pulling the, the hook out of my neck, which was pretty scary and I was like I don't know this dude I just met him and he's about he's got some rusty pliers up against my neck and he's about to pull pull this thing out of my neck and I'm like I don't know how this not sure how this is gonna go but it went awesome so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more uh, just subscribe remember to comment below what you guys think and give the video a like and I appreciate you guys watching all right have a good one happy fishing I caught a lot of fish on a tiny lure that one guy was willing, it was his last one, it was Zach's last lure, he was willing to pull it out of his pack and hand it to me. And I had a great day of fishing, and I would have caught probably, maybe not even a quarter of the fish I caught if uh, he probably hadn't given me that, so. Pay it forward, guys.